EasyDraw is available for download from www.easydraw.com and the Mac App Store. In this tutorial, we will be using the OS X System Color Picker in conjunction with a user interface element called a color well to choose colors for use in our drawings. So here is the color and style palette on EasyDraw. And here is the main system color picker on the right side. On the color and style palette, there are two different color wells. There's the fill color well, and there's the outline color well. We'll use the color and style palette, which manages two colors, fill and outline, with two color wells. When you click on a graphic on your drawing, these two color wells change to reflect the colors of the graphic. When you click a color well, it becomes active. Notice the darker color of the border. And the system color picker, if not already open, will open up. In this case, it was already open. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to close it. I'm going to activate the fill color well and the system color panel opens up and the appropriate color is shown in the color picker which is white the same as the fill color well right here this is available for detailed inspection on the main color picker okay well let's use the example of the roof of the house here i'm gonna click it and then we'll see what changes happen in the color and style panel and in the color picker panel. As soon as I clicked the roof of the house, the fill color well changed to the same green color as the roof of the house. And because the fill color well was activated, immediately in the color picker, the same color showed up right here. Now let's use the sun as an example. Clicking on the sun, the fill color well changes to yellow, and so does the uh, color picker on the main OS X system. Now let's activate the stroke outline color well. Because it is black on the sun, of course the same color shows up in the main system's color picker. This is a two-way street. Changes we make on the color picker are directed to a single color well, which is in turn directed to a corresponding color on our drawing. Okay, let me give you an example here. With the sun chosen and the fill color well activated, we are going to play around with the brightness level on the HSP sliders on the main OS X color system to see what happens with the fill color well and the sun drawing on the drawing. We are going to drag it back and make it less bright. And you notice that the fill color well changes to the same color as the color picker. And that same change is reflected in the sun in the drawing. And we're gonna make it back 100% brightness again. And the same changes happen in the color picker fill color well and the sun drawing notice the concept of active color well has nothing to do with the check marks for fill and stroke or other controls you might find on other palettes the checkbox will disable the color well so it cannot become active but when checked the color well may or may not be the one active color well Keep your eye on the border of the color well to follow the active color well. Okay, let me give you an example here. For this case, we are going to choose the tree and we are going to uncheck the outline and, st and uh, stroke color well. You see how the color well is still there? It can't be selected to be activated. We are going to check the checkbox again. 
but just checking the checkbox did not make the color world the active one. If you want to make the color world the active one, you have to click on it. And notice how the border becomes darker. That's how you know if a color well is the active color well. There cannot be several color wells active at once. But there can be no color wells active. Notice when I click on an active color well, it deactivates, leaving no active color wells. For this example, we are going to use the sun. We've already deactivated both color wells. So on the main system color palette, we're going to go to the color wheel and we're going to make some changes. Make it uh, a deep blue. But see, no changes happen in either one of the color wells or in the drawing. That's because by deactivating the color well, you have effectively disconnected the color well and the drawing from the main system color picker. This way you can make any changes into the color without affecting your drawing in any way, shape or form. Now that you understand how the color wells work, the full power of the main system color picker is available to you. Most are familiar with the main color wheel, which is quite convenient. The sliders toolbar on the color picker lets you specify each component and this provides the color interface for specifying CMYK colors. It gives you HSP sliders, gives you CMYK sliders, RGB sliders, and grayscale gray slider. The next toolbar button accesses the color tables of named colors. There's the Apple one. There's the developer one. There's the easy draw one. There's the easy D web safe. There's the easy D windows 16. There's the toolbar dot easy draw. There's the crayons and the web safe colors. And there's different settings here, new and open. And then there's the spectrum toolbar button that gives you basically just the spectrum. And last but not least, there's the crayon box. EasyDraw is available for download from www.easydraw.com and the Mac App Store.